that might be, this might be my best bin finds to date. Back to the bins, have to do a voiceover because of the music in the background. First bin, I found this bag of assorted CDs. They were all bootleg, so homemade, they stayed in the bin. Now, digging through the bin, I try and be as careful as I can. You know, I'm not gonna put a microwave or a vacuum cleaner on top of something breakable, but you, you have to dig. Harley Davidson, empty box. Still have to check it out though. Moving things around. This was a neat plate, but didn't need it. Won't sell it. Hello Kitty little guy, not an old one. Vintage Hello Kitty from the 80s and 90s, good sellers. Just gotta move things around. Plastic lion mask, not needed. You know, this, this bin wasn't that productive for me, but I found this, homemade, homemade art, not for me. I found these vintage gun cleaning patches. There were a whole bunch of them, so I just picked them up. They probably only cost me a couple of cents, and if I can't sell them online, then naturally they'll go to the flea market, and I'm sure someone will, will buy them there. This was the bin for me, Vintage Christmas, and boy was I lucky at this bin because I actually had some helpers. First, oh, see it, spot it, there it is, there's the box, and it is inside. It is a shiny, bright nativity set. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you hand me those little elves? Did you want them? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you again. That's so nice of you. I don't wanna, you were here first, so I don't wanna impose. Oh, there's Yes, I know you're at the bin, supposed to be cutthroat, but I think it pays to be nice. And I found this Putz house. It's a little broken, a little damaged, but I took it anyway because I think I can save it. So yes, the, there was a man that when I asked for the vintage Christmas, he gave it to me. And then every time he found more, he passed it along to me. So that was very, very nice of him. I stayed at this bin for a little bit longer because of the vintage Christmas that was in here. You can see that in my recap. Found this guy, but he was too, too far gone found this guy, two heads are better than one, and this troll is a vintage troll, and it's actually worth a decent amount of money, maybe even $50. It all just depends on the style and the condition. I think he was missing some of his hair. This bin had all sorts of little, little things in it, from paper to CDs to just stuff. Empty jewelry box. I think I saw a photo in there. I didn't see it when I was digging, though. Found another troll. So that went in my bag too. Vintage trolls are very collectible. Purse, no monies. Oh, more vintage Christmas. There only was one, but I looked and I looked and I thought the other one has to be in this bin and there it is. So into the package it went. I found these little wooden rubber stamps and I wasn't quite sure. So I looked at some of the cassette tapes I look rather rough in this, but I think it's just my motion. And then I found the box. So because I found the box, I had to start taking as many of the stamps as I could. And that ice cube tray, it was giving me a hard time. <laughs> just put it somewhere else, Renee. It kept, it kept coming back down on me. So I picked up some of the rubber stamps and then lo and behold, right there, there was the bottom of the kit. So that might be, this might be my best bin finds to date and I wasn't even here when they opened. Here they don't close anymore for the afternoon hour to switch the bins. They're open straight through the day and they switch the bins intermittently. And there was one bin that had vintage Christmas and there was a an older man who was looking through the same bin and he like tossed the Christmas aside. So I just asked, oh, if you don't want that, can I have it? And so as he's digging, he starts giving me the Christmas that he finds. So that was really nice. I'm really excited. I spent $13. So when we get back home, I'll show you what I found. I think I got some really good treasures. 
it was Christmas at the bins for me. I pretty much sourced from one bin and what fun sourcing it was. So a few things, this location used to shut down for a portion of the day to clean and rotate the bins. They stopped doing that. So when I got there, it had been open for a, a few hours and I think they just brought out new bins. So people had already sifted through, pummeled through them and looked, but they missed some things. <laughs> Two, my battery died. I had charged it the whole night before and when I'm filming, I'll film for a little, turn it off, dig in a bin. And if I think I see something interesting, I'll turn it back on and go to dig. Well, the times when I thought I had it off, I think I had it on. So, and, and let's be honest, though I am filming to make a video, I still get so excited by digging through the bins that often I forget. You know, I forget that I have that camera in my hand that I'm supposed to be zoning in because it's just so much fun and your eyes are darting everywhere trying to find in those treasures. And what treasures that I found today Somewhat thanks to one of the nice older men that were there. I, man that was there. I think he's a regular. There was a bin and I saw him, you know, he was looking and I saw him pick up these Christmas things, Christmas, Christmas things. And I'm like, oh, oh, what's he gonna, what's he gonna do with them? What's he gonna do with them? Because I know people say I have to get in there. You know, I have to be more outspoken, but there's a difference between being outspoken and just being rude. And when you go to a place like this that has the regulars that are there every day, all day, you don't want to be rude because it will not do you any good in the long run. So I, though it happens to me, I prefer it not to go right up next to someone and start digging right next to them. I don't like it when people do it to me. I don't want to do it to others. So I nicely asked the man once I saw him put the Christmas things aside if he wanted them if I could look at them and he passed them along to me. And then whenever he found some other vintage thing in that bin, he would, <laughs> he would, you know, call for me and give it to me. So thank you. That was so nice of him to do that. He didn't have to, um, but he, he was kind. And I'm very grateful for that because he, I found some great things. <laughs> all right, let's just get to the vintage Christmas. I haven't even looked at all these yet. Um, you know, you put it in your bag and you keep looking. So yes, I found the shiny bright nativity in the original box. Box is a little worse for the wear, but I didn't even see. And they're all there except for the angel, but she'd probably be easy to replace. Stars seems a little, oh, the shooting part is gone, but still a nice vintage nativity from shiny bright. If you recall, I found a bunch of little ones in my trash bags from last spring. All oh, the trees are missing too, but that's okay. I mean, this, this only cost a couple of cents probably. And I believe it's $1.39 or $1.49 a pound. Got those. The first thing Christmas that I think I saw the man pick up were these. I didn't even know what they were, but I could tell they were vintage. His head came, what in the world? First I thought that was a cigarette. So his head came off, but there's, what the? It's like Japanese or Chinese writing on the paper. Those are so fun. Oh, we gotta get you back on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They have the Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. We'll get his little friend out too. But yeah, once I saw that all these goodies were in this bin, I knew to just stay and dig. And that is what I did. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. That is so funny that that is the what they use to keep their head on. Oh, these are lovely. I've, I haven't seen these before. Then the other thing that he passed on to me. Whoop, there's my receipt. Oh, I can tell you. Um, $1.64 a pound. Were these, oh, and it says Noel Decor. Maybe it was these that he opened first. I don't know. But look at those little guys peeking, peeking through. Oh, 
I don't think this plastic, whoever donated these to the Goodwill outlet, thank you. I was at the right place at the right time. Oh, well, let's take him out. Of course, they're gonna be a little, it is, it's still that same weird paper that's rolled up. Maybe there's a secret message. I'm gonna have to look online for these, or maybe some of you know these carolers too, but there's three of them. Oh, they're so cute. Well, I have these for sale. Honestly, I found some other things at the bins that I'll make a profit on, such as that troll. So am I going to want to sell these? I don't know. You know, unless they're worth like $300, I doubt it. But you know, for a couple of cents, what else? What other Christmas? This, which I didn't open, I could tell that it was older. It's in a brown bush baked goods food bag. It looked like a tree. Oh, I'm gonna have to vacuum after this. All right, I, there are, maybe you can see. It's a tree made, oh geez. A tree made out of spools. And there are older, balls in there. I don't want to take it out because this is going to leave a huge mess on my floor. Um, so I'll have to take it out another time. But I just put this right in my bag too. But definitely older. A tree made of spools. How inventive. This guy, which I'm glad he didn't get too, too beat up. Little Santa. Oops. This little lady tree top or angel. I have seen these other places. Her arms are rather fun. <laughs> I found this little basket, which I don't think it's older. It might be, but it's fun to put things in. We'll continue with the Christmas. Oh, okay, so. We have more. So I have four of the, um, we'll call them the carol car carolers or choir, choir kids. You figure these I'm guessing original packaging, you know, they probably either got opened when they were thrown into the bins or that's the packaging that the whomever had it would put them back in. Um, two more, three more Christmas items. This puts house. I couldn't leave it behind. It is green. Um, there was that sad Santa made of styrofoam. He was too far gone, but um, you can't go wrong with a good puts house. And then I also found these. Fortunately, I found the other one. It says Musical Angel Candle Holder, Commodore product. So they're both in there. Don't think they play music. They're just musical angels playing their little instruments. Christmas at the bins, for sure. Oh, this guy. I didn't open it all the way on a ring. I'm guessing it's a, I don't want to break it. It's a star and then, oh geez. It has a little hook thing. So it probably, come on. All right, we'll figure it out later. I'm sure my battery's probably gonna die now too. It's a star, Christmas star. Then some other goodies that I picked up. I did find this troll, his hair looks like it's been cut. But if you see a two-headed troll in any of your thrifting flea market adventures, buy it. Because go on eBay and check what a two-headed troll sells for and your jaw will drop. They can sell for anywhere between $50 and $150. If they have the clothes on, the original clothes, you are in for a decent amount of money. This is the Onita, 1965. Yeah, his hair, their hair, it's definitely been cut. But regardless, this guy will pay for everything that I purchased. I think for my first round, I actually went back in again. On my first round, I paid 13, I think it was 1360 something. So you know, even if with the condition he's in, I can sell him for just say $30. I've made my money. I can keep the Christmas things. <laughs> and um, I saved some great treasures from the bins. Other weird items I picked up. 
I just found these and I threw them in my bag because again, these aren't costing much. These are Hops Gun Cleaning Patches. These are vintage, there is no barcode um, from Philly. Well, it even says on here, 1964. And to take a look online and we'll see. If I can group these together, I might even be able to get my $13 back just from these. Um, there are variety. I haven't seen any like these though. I saw one listing, I think that had one package like this combined. They have not been opened. I don't think, no, they haven't. So we shall see how these do. But you know, again, these aren't, these aren't a pound. So I'm not even paying $1.64 for this. I did buy the Mickey wallet. Didn't, no money's inside. The man that gave me the Christmas items, I saw him look in an envelope and then he would he poured it out onto his hand and showed his wife. He found necklaces. They look like gold. So his kindness was repaid for sure. So nice Mickey Team Sports vintage wallet. Again, this little basket. Cute, rustic. This would be great for Easter. And then last but not least, the rubber stamp set. This is Excelsior Elementary Rubber Stamp. I saw all the little stamps all about, and I'm like, oh, those are pretty cute. And then I saw the box. Oh, look at this one. Of course it's missing. It's the, it's the hand pointing that way, but the stamp is gone. So I saw the lid, and I thought, oh, I have to save these. There's the other one. Why couldn't... So these would probably be good to sell on Etsy. People could craft with them, I assume. Um, I don't think I put all of them in here because there were a lot just scattered all over the bottom of the bin. So we shall see, but I really like the box. These don't go for that much online. If this was a wooden box with the stamps, that would have been worth more because that's an older version. But I just like the look of it and Again, saving these things. I don't know. This may have been the item that cost me the most money. I had some other things that I purchased too, but they're they're nothing fun to show you. I wanted to show you mainly all the vintage Christmas because I was so happy. I was so happy and it was so much fun digging. I actually spent four hours at the bins. I was hungry, tired, and really sad that my camera died. I need to bring my charger with me. I didn't think I was going to be there that long. I thought I'd be there an hour and that was it, but they kept bringing the bins out and I kept finding other things and it was fun. It was fun. When the flea market opens up, I guess the bins are kind of like the flea market um, because you don't know what's going to come out and it's kind of like whoever gets there gets there first. And when my normal flea market opens, uh, I'll go there and they'll kind of be like the bins, especially if the tote man's there because that's like digging in a whole world of bins. But a lot of fun. Loved all the vintage Christmas that I found. So grateful for that man that started handing me the, the Christmas items. So I hope he did find gold. That would have been good for him. Two head and troll. This guy would probably pay for it all. <laughs> So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you're going out to your bins, may I suggest having your gloves, bringing a bag, and packing a lunch because you do not know how long you're going to be there because if the treasures keep coming out, it's so much fun to dig through that deep plastic blue sea of unknown treasures. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.